fighting for the championship, that's uh, something I've thought about my whole life. I've dreamt of it my whole life. It would basically just be icing on a cake that we've been making our whole, our whole career since you started on 50s with your parents going to the track. To be in the position where I'm even relevant, that's been my goal for five years now. It's, you know, since I went pro, really, I just want to be relevant in the series. A lot of people don't know, but Briar actually broke his hand the week before Lexington Mile motocross training with me, and it was tough. You know, we sat in the doctor's office and found out he had a broken hand, and to see, you know, the tears fall down his eyes, thinking that the championship's over, it was, it was tough. It was really painful. You know, he had surgery eight days before Laconia, and uh, we, he literally could not use his hand at all during the week, so his training went down to a, a minimum. It was amazing to see him, you know, never give up, never quit, and, and ride the motorcycle the way that he did. It was just insane. There's really no words to, to explain how proud of him I am. Briar Bauman, what a dream season it is. He's picked up the factory Indian ride. He has made the most of it. It's a dream come true to be a part of the factory. And my mechanic, Dave and Michelle, I put the work in during the week, and it means more to me than anyone could ever know that they want to win as bad as I do. As for Bauman, what can you say? Every time he's had some adversity, or Jared Mees has got a little win streak, he's bounced back every single time. Hey Briar, congratulations. You had a great year. We're so proud of you. Great working with you. You're the man. Briar, it's great to see your dreams come true, son. We love you. Congrats, champ. <laughs>